If you're thinking about moving to Mission Viejo, California, in this video, I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons of living here. So let's start off with a pro or a con for Mission Viejo. Just like many other communities within Orange County and South Orange County in particular, Mission Viejo is a suburban style neighborhood with, with track housing. You know, within each housing track, you'll see, you know, walking trails, community pools, parks, and, and different open spaces. Uh, so let's talk about the first pro is going to be the weather, which is great here in Southern California. One of the biggest reasons why so many choose to move here, uh, Mission Viejo in particular, during the summertime, you could expect 80 to 90 degrees, um, you know, a couple weeks during the summer might hit 100 degrees by the nighttime it always it always tends to cool down so you don't have that hot air just sticking around um, at nighttime obviously throughout the majority of the year you're going to get used to the, the 70 degrees low 80 degree temperature with the sunshine always out winter time not going to go anything lower than than 40 degrees you know it doesn't snow here or anything and, and of course, Southern California, we have been dealing with a drought for some time now, so don't expect much rain either. So the next pro is gonna be the outdoor active lifestyle you're able to live here. Because the weather's so great, you know, many people get to enjoy different outdoor activities. In Southern California, you have the mountains, you have the beaches and the deserts, all within a close proximity. And again, Mission Viejo is a, is a master plan community, tons of different parks and, and open spaces, walking trails all within within the city itself. You have the Oso Creek Trail, which is about a five mile little nature walk within within the city of, of Mission Viejo. You also have the O'Neill Regional Park, you can always camp out on, and they have nearly 23 miles of, of different scenic hiking trails more in the Chibrigo Canyon area, you know, only 15, 20 minutes away from Mission Viejo. Don't have to go too far to, to get like a real feel of nature and then get out there and camp. So the next pro about living in Mission Viejo, located right at the heart of the whole town, that's Mission Viejo Lake. Here you'll have, you know, a beach area with, with a lifeguard. During the summertime, you have picnic tables, you know, basketball court, volleyball court, uh, boat rentals, including, you know, kayaks, paddle boats, party boats, uh, fishing. You can go fishing there as well. They have even a snack bar during the summertime and in a clubhouse uh, you can rent out for, for parties, weddings, stuff like that. And during the summertime, they have summer concerts. They get really packed. And then to have access to the lake, you actually have to live in Mission Viejo. And then more particularly, you have to be a part of the Mission Viejo Homeowners Association. It's paid semi-annually, so that means twice a year, $150 per, per payment. And, and if you want to, you know, if, if the lake is a, is a big attraction to you and, and you want to make sure you have access to that, I'll leave a link here. So should you be searching for a home in Mission Viejo, you make sure that you would have access to the lake. So this one could be a pro or a con, and that's Mission Viejo doesn't really have much of a nightlife. You know, compared to some of its other neighbors in more northern Orange County, places like Newport Beach, Costa Mesa, Orange, Fullerton, they tend to have a little bit more nightlife, you know, bars and club venues, a little bit more entertainment venues in those areas. Southern Orange County in particular is going to be a little bit more of a quieter you know suburban sleepy neighborhood you know lights go out a little bit earlier down here in, in south orange county and again depending on what you're looking for that that's either a pro or a con just just want to lay that out to you let you let you know and, and don't get me wrong you know mission viejo does have some local bars that are pretty fun you know karaoke and stuff like that you also have the mission viejo mall and in and the Kaleidoscope Center, which, you know, they both have great restaurants there and, and, and even a movie theater as well. The next pro is going to be the great schools that we have here in Mission Viejo. You're going to have sports programs, music, art programs, and on top of that, very competitive in, in academics as well. The two school districts that are here are Saddleback Valley Unified School District 
and Capistrano Valley, both very highly regarded in, in, in pretty good school districts. The one con I would say about the school districts here is the boundary lines are a little, a little interesting. Um, and this mainly goes for middle schools and high schools in the area. You know, for example, I remember I, I grew up here in Mission Viejo and I would have friends who directly across the street, the main street would go to completely different middle schools and high schools, whereas we live, you know, 0.1 mile away from each other. Elementary schools, not necessarily as big of a, an issue I've noticed. Usually you're, you're going to the closest one. So that, that's one little con is you may not, your kid may not be going to the closest school that they live next to. The next pro is going to be, there's prestigious colleges that are within the area at Mission Viejo. You have you know, Cal State Fullerton, University of Irvine, um, and tons of different private universities as well. There's a few. You even have Saddleback College, which is, which is a, a pretty good uh, junior college. I actually took my real estate classes there. And you know they have a pretty good transfer rate there um, for, for your undergraduate. Whether you're a student or a faculty member, you know this, this could be a good place for, for your studies and your teachings where you can get some peace and quiet, you know, and, and, and focus on your studies and also not be too far away from, from any kind of, you know, fun and nightlife. Obviously, you're, you're in Southern California, so when, when you're ready to take your breaks, you don't have to go too far. You can, you can have some fun. And then again, you know, lights go out pretty, pretty early here in Mission Viejo, so you can, you can really focus on your studies as well. The next pro is going to be Mission Viejo is a very pro-business uh, city. What I mean by that, you know, you don't have to pay a, a gross receipts tax. You don't have to pay a business license fee every year. A lot of other cities in Orange County, you do. You have, you know, like next building, next day, uh, building inspections, and, and pretty expedited plan permit checking as well. You know, have dealt with some very specific scenarios, but compared to a lot of other areas I've worked in, the, the plan and permit checking is, is a bit faster, moves a little bit faster here in Mission Viejo. The next topic, this is a, a con for most. It's the, the prices of homes here in Mission Viejo are a bit more expensive than, than the median sales price across the country. So based on active listings, um, June 28th, 2022, we're looking at three bedroom, two bath, single family residences, just below a million dollars at 999,000. So for active two bed, two bath condo townhomes in Mission Viejo, we're looking at about 739,000 is the median sales price. So the median rent for a two bedroom apartment here in Mission Viejo is about $3,000 a month. And then the median rent for a three bedroom single family residence is about just under $4,700 a month. And you can start your search today. Visit the link here in the video or in the description, whether you're looking for a home here in Mission Viejo or still considering different neighborhoods within Orange County, I'd love to help you out to learn more about different neighborhoods in OC or Mission Viejo in particular. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. More videos are coming on a weekly basis. Another pro is you have two really great retirement communities here in Mission Viejo. You have Palmia and Costa del Sol. You know, these, these gated communities have tons of different amenities, including, you know, golf courses, putting green, uh, tennis courses, game rooms, and, and even, even a clubhouse at, at both communities. If, if, you're, if you have any interest and, and want to look more into these neighborhoods, these communities, love to help you out, provide any kind of info that you need. So the next con is, sorry, it sounds funny to say the next con. It's like, uh, and this one's a kind of a funny one. You may not think it's, there's a lot of crows here in Mission Viejo, Orange County, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was doing some research just to help provide some extra information, you know, as valuable as possible to you guys. And I've lived in Mission Viejo for like half of my life. It's just kind of, I've just, I guess I gotten used to it. Didn't necessarily notice too much. Well, I did. So, and, and where they're, where they swarm to, or I guess the term is roost, uh, is, is right behind Saddleback College. 
Uh, what I remember, I, I was taking some classes there a few years back, and and it'd be like six o'clock. So right right when the sun's coming down, um, you would just see this whole swarm of crows just flying over the college, and they go like a little bit past it into this like mountain canyon area. Then you have like Ladera Ranch past that. So it's like right in between Saddleback College and Ladera Ranch. You have this huge swarm of crows. Um, you know, if, I don't know how big of a deal that is to you. Um, you know, don't be too mean to the crows. Apparently crows are extremely intelligent and they like recognize people's faces and stuff. Anyways, we don't need to go into that. You could look up and, and find a video more about that. The next pro is you're living in Southern California. There's tons of stuff to do. Here in Mission Viejo, you know, you kind of get your, your quiet getaway in, in, the, in the suburbs, but you're only, you know, two hours, one to two hours away, depending on traffic from places like LA, you know, San Diego, you have, and you have great restaurants and dining here, here in Orange County, don't get me wrong, but you know, places like LA and San Diego, you have all kinds of different shops and stuff like that. Obviously huge entertainment areas. You got Palm Springs out there. Uh, just again about a couple hours away big bear mountain for those of you who like to ski or snowboard visit the snow during the winter time you can make your way to the colorado river for those of you with your speed boats or your jet skis um, you know vegas is only five hour drive like a 30 minute flight and then you know you go out to the desert for those of you with with uh with your atvs you know your dirt bikes everyone kind of has their thing you know, the next con is going to be gas prices. <laughs> that sounds funny. Gas prices is a con. Anyways, so here in California, you know, we are dealing with higher gas prices um, across the country. Obviously, everyone's dealing with it. California, pretty sure, is the most expensive. Um, you know, so you definitely want to factor this in. Obviously, tons of great, great experiences and great places to go here in Southern California. You're going to want to factor that into your monthly budget if you're going to be driving around to these places, going to L.A. every weekend or, you know, whatever, driving out to the desert, you know. So definitely want to factor that in with, with your monthly budget. And the next con about living in Mission Viejo is going to be the kind of the traffic within the area. I mean, Southern California traffic. South Orange County traffic is not necessarily as bad as more Northern Orange County simply because those are more of the employment centers. So if you do live in Mission Viejo, you know, everyone's work situation is different, but you may be having to drive up to the employment centers, places like Irvine, you know, Newport Beach, Santa Ana. Um, that's where most of the, the jobs are located in Orange County. Unless you do happen to work in Mission Viejo, not gonna be as big of an issue for you. Uh, obviously a lot of people are even working from home now. But definitely something you want to consider you know you're, you're kind of going to need a car living in mission viejo it's going to be a little bit harder to depend on you know public transportation like buses and you know so you're going to be a little bit car reliant living in mission viejo and then the next one is is a pro or a con you know depending depending how you look at it and that's taxes so here in in california we have a sales tax of 7.25 percent However, according to avalera.com, Orange County does have its own kind of county tax, it brings the median sales tax rate to about 7.75%. And then of course you have the property tax rate, which is about 0.69% here in Orange County on average. So based on say, for example, an assessed value of a home worth a million dollars, meaning when you purchased it, it was at a million dollars you'll be looking at property taxes of about $6,900 paid over the year. You know, that's of course without uh, the Mela Rus that, that may be there. Mission Viejo, most of the homes don't have the Mela Rus tax considering they were, majority of these homes were built during, you know, the 60s to the 80s. There's only so many newer developments, you know, past 20 years um, within Mission Viejo. The next one is a pro. And that's Mission Viejo is a very competitive sports town, I would say. And, and what I mean by that, you know, every, the kids, the parents, coaches, trainers, you know, everybody gets really into the sports. The, starting at a very low 
or youth level, I should say. You know, not just high school and, and stuff like that. We're talking, you know, little kids running around kicking a soccer ball. <laughs> Everybody gets into it. I know I played basketball growing up here in Mission Viejo and definitely helped, you know, shape who I am today. Give me that, that good foundation and, and competitiveness that, that I think uh, helps people out in life, definitely. Um, another pro about living here in Mission Viejo is there is a great hospital here in the city. You know, I know it, it, it's a pro because it, you do have a peace of mind, you know, knowing that you and your loved ones can be taken care of in any kind of emergency or health conditions you may be dealing with. They do have a the South Orange County's only uh, pediatric and adult verified trauma to facility. So in terms of those kind of serious injuries, it's it's the best hospital to be around in, in Orange County, South Orange County. I found that health.us news ranked Providence Mission Viejo Hospital as the number 12 uh, best hospital within the whole state of California. And then they were also ranked uh, number 50 in the whole country in terms of, of orthopedics as well. And the next pro I want to talk about, according to safewise.com, Mission Viejo was ranked as a top 10 uh, safest city to live in, in the whole United States. Again, you know, this this blog or ranking system is all based off of you know certain crime statistics, no characterization of the neighborhood or people who live in it simply just referring to this blog in a ranking system that was set up definitely consider taking taking a closer look into into what these kind of rankings are based on just wanted to share the info with you again orange county mission viejo great place to live so as you can tell there's way more pros than cons when it comes to living here in mission viejo don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more information on each city and neighborhood here in Orange County, more on Mission Viejo, and all the other neighborhoods in OC. Again, I'm Alex Gonzalez. Here's my, my contact information. You can reach out over the phone, call, text, email, book a Zoom call, and you and I can get to know each other a little bit better. And, and I can get a better idea of, of what you're looking for, point you in the right direction, Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. You guys keep doing you.